Hi there, it's Connie Ray. Welcome to Connie Ray's Craftroom.com. Today I have a new craft share for you, which is, oh, my tools are jumping out of their places, um, which is a gift card using the stamp set, which involves Beauty Abounds. I'm still in love with this stamp set. And I'm using this little stamp here. Well, it's not little actually. This stamp here and this stamp here. And they're both basically the same ones larger than the other. Also using the sentiment from Country Home, which is this one here. And it says, simply thankful for all the good things, which is that there. And I'm also using Highland Heather and Soft Sea Foam. So I will show you how to do this little project. It's really quite easy. As long as you don't do what I've done and do a few mistakes to start with. And then you've got to turn it all over and do it again. Okay, first of all, you're going to need your cardstock, which is 11 by four and a quarter, scored at five and a half. You, and I'll show you, look, I started doing it and I made a mistake in between my filming and I had to start again. But you know what? I'm not going to waste my cardstock. I'm just going to turn it inside out and show you how I did that. So there you go. All right, so um, I'm using the Highland Heather and the large voting stamp and this small one. So you can do them in any way that you like. I'm just going to put, just to make sure it's all even Stevens, just get a piece of cardstock or whatever, masking tape, whatever you use, and put it up against the score line here so that when you're stamping, all your stamping is going to go directly onto the card front and it won't go onto the back unless you want that look. Of course. So this is the soft sea foam. So we'll just alternate and move around and do strange, lovely, freaky, stampy stuff, which is my favorite thing. See, as you can see, when I stamp there, it doesn't go onto the card base. It actually goes onto the um, card. Uh, sorry, the back of the card. It goes onto that piece of scrap material there. And you can do what you can do too if you don't like if you want to make it look more dreamy you can stamp off and then stamp on and you'll get a lighter effect so it makes it kind of more dreamy and it looks like a little bit more of a splat so that's nice too i'm just going to bring in the highland heather purple which is the larger one and you don't have to worry too much about the middle because we're going to be putting a frame over that but that's okay we want to it doesn't hurt to do the whole thing Cover all your bases, as they say. It's just like a bubble machine. It's great. It's so much fun, this card. And actually, kids, I think, would like doing this. Because it is fun. They're just looking at bubbles everywhere. Let me turn that round. Okay, I think we've kind of got that covered now. Like I said, we only have to cover the card. We don't have to cover the front of the base. Of, uh, sorry, the front of the card. We don't have to cover all of it. Okay, and the next thing you need to do is, and I've already done this, as I suggested before, because I'd already started, and this is just a normal piece of cardstock. It has to be at least... Um, three inches by four and three eighths so we're going to cut a frame out of this one so you do exactly the same thing and what we do is we get our um, rectangle yeah rectangle stitched framelit dies and we're going to cut out a big one like yay and then we're going to cut out a smaller one like there and we're going to run that through the big shot and you're going to create a little frame that looks like this so all the stamping that you've done there is going to be on the frame and that's going to sit on the front of the card like that. So that's what you need to do with that. So just make sure it's even when you put it down, use a bit of tape to hold it down and run it through your big shot and you'll end up with a frame like that. Okay, and the next thing that we need is a piece of, I've used the, oh, I'm just gonna get rid of this piece of paper here. I've used the Gingham Gala, I'll get rid of these. Um, is it the, yes, it's a Gingham Gala designer series paper. Yeah, and you need a piece that is three inches by four and three eighths. So I'm just going to do this 
how I would normally do it. You can use um, your large stamp block. It would fit on the, what block is this that I've got here? This, oop, this is the E block. It fits on the E block quite well, but because I don't line things up too well, I can use my stamping stamparatus or I can use this and I already had it in this, so I'm gonna go with this. So I'm going to use my black ink. You can use Memento. Um, yeah, I would use it, Memento. I want the image to be really strong in colour. I'm going to use this um, VersaFine pigment ink for fine details because I want my image to be really crisp. Memento will do this for you as well, but I like to use this one for really crisp images. And I like to be able to pop it down twice if I need to. So. which I do need to. I was initially going to make this a shaker card, but I didn't like the shaker version of it. I found that it was kind of a little bit too um, busy to look at. So I decided just to cut it back a bit. I don't like my cards looking too busy. I like the clean and simple look. And there we go. So that image is really nice and crisp. Okay, get that out of the way. So you will now be bringing in your frame, which is very simple, and your card. I'm just going to flatten that a bit. Okay, so I'm going to put the frame over the top of this. Very easy, isn't it? Very easy card. You could whip up. The longest part is probably cutting out the frame. Um, you could whip up some of these in the colours of the gingham paper, which is um, in the occasions catalogue. And you've got balmy blue, daffodil, daffodil delight, grapefruit grove, highland heather, lemon lime, twist, whisper white. Where's the whisper white? I haven't seen the whisper white. Why does it say whisper white? Oh, with, on, I know what it means. It means because it's on the Whisper White. So it's the combination of the Garland Ginga with the with, 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 <laughs> Whisper White. Okay, so these are the colours. And you get, how many do you get? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Six by six of each colour. So quite a good collection. So you could make up, if you marry these up with the ink, you could make some nice cards with these. Quick and easy. Definitely. So yeah, they, they're quite a good little um, six by six pack. Oh. And that's in the occasions catalog. All right, so I'm just going to use um, some little bit of Tombow just around the edge. I don't want to use much because I don't want it to squeeze onto the card front. And I'm just going to pop it over the top. Well, actually, I can probably do it the other way. Just lining up your sentiment and everything else that you've got there going evenly for you. There you go. Nice and even. And then we're going to just put up some dimensionals on it. And give it a bit of height. just to give it some height. And one more. Okay. So I've got that bit going and I need to have something to hold this on so I can put it on straight because most of you who follow me know that I can't get things straight and it, <laughs> it's very annoying. So I'm basically going to line it up with my eye and then, you know, as they say, the more practice you put in, the better it's going to be. So I figure if I keep practicing, it's not going to hurt me at all. Is that straight? Mm. 
that looks straight. I hope so. Let me see. I don't know if it is. Yeah, I think it is actually. It's just me. All right. So there is your card. We're just going to pop some little sequins on. These are green. Well, they're a soft sea foam sequins. So I've put them just randomly over my previous card, which is here. Oh, has that one come off or did I just grab that from somewhere? Okay, we'll just pop that there. And these go really nice with the soft sea foam colour. Okay, one there. And I think, is that enough? I think it could be a little bit more blingy, but not too blingy. I think it's okay. And we'll pop one down here. No, no, we'll pop one there. Okay, and there you go. That is my, well, I'd say quick and easy, and it is. It's not hard. Once you've done one, I think you're done. Cutting out the frame, as I said, will take the longest. But ultimately, it's a really easy card, and it's very pretty, I think. So there you go. That's the card tutorial for today. I hope you've enjoyed it and um, please do like, share and subscribe and I will include um, down on the bottom of the links where it says show more. Just click that and it will open up a, uh, a box and it will have all the links to all these products that you can go in and you can purchase at your leisure. 24 hours a day, 7 days a week from anywhere in Australia. So I hope you liked the tutorial. Thanks for stopping by and I will see you soon with a new tutorial and hopefully, yeah, hopefully that's soon. Okay, thanks for stopping by.